Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here from Hayward RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Today I want to take a look at what I think are five of the very best couples campers out there in the 30 foot and up range. Some bigger stuff, some super slides, ones that have room you can actually stretch out and really spend some time in there at like an extended uh, period if you're looking for it. Now these are models that really speak to me. Um, they are uh, things that like I would per personally be very interested in. And I, I want to explain to you why I, with my years of experience, why I think these are really good models to target, especially like if you've never done this before, or if you're upgrading from a family uh, camper to get more of an empty nester or something like that, we've got some very good options here for you today. Coming in, number five, we've got the Cherokee 274 Rear Kitchen. And I almost think they should rename this thing the 274DK, like double kitchen, because one of the reasons I like this is the enhancements they've made to their, their outdoor Cherokee kitchen. Rear kitchens are awesome because they give you, I think, personally, I think rear kitchens are the single best floor plan for destination use because you get more storage, you get more counter space, prep space, etc. But this one specifically allows you to take the cooking outside or if nothing else, just having the fridge out there so you're not tracking dirt in and out all the time. It's a small thing that rear kitchens don't typically have, and I think it's a really big factor in how you're going to use it and how you're going to enjoy it. But you can also like tuck it away and be done with it. And this is a very traditional floor plan. Almost every builder worth their salt in history has built something like this, and for good reason. It's, it's like a crocodile. It just didn't have to change. It's just that good. And I actually like it because this is one of the RVs that has been successful out there without being really focused on staring at the television all day. Instead, it's got seating across uh, from one another and it's very person to person focused. I think it's an awesome entertainer's model, but it's spacious enough that even with one slide, if it's just one or two of you, you can really stretch out and chill on that thing and really enjoy your time. 6,490 pounds, the Cherokee 274 rear kitchen landing for another season here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is uh, a done to death floor plan, but done extremely well, I think. And what I mean by done to death is not at all derogatory toward this camper. I mean, it's just a very common layout. So why would you choose this version of it versus something else? That's what I want to focus on today. And <laughs> the good news is Cherokee gives us no shortage of reasons. Um, they, you've got things here like their juice pack, solar package, the cargo rack, the factory third tail light and rear view camera, enclosed holding tanks, an inside and outside kitchen, and wait till you see the, the little kind of sneaky double cooker arrangement they have in the camp kitchen. Cherokee is a deceptively detailed brand. It is very easy to look at the corrugated skin of this and, and misjudge it as lesser. It's, it's not, it's not though. This has so much more equipment than most things in this class. And frankly, the equipment package on this rivals what you'd find in most laminated trailers. This is pound for pound, one of the smartest buy campers out there. And it's no accident. I think the Cherokee's the number one retailing brand as a whole organization in the industry today. Coming up next, one of those wackier Wildwoods with the Versa Lounge, the 27RE, because it gives us a shocking amount of storage gives us that big fifth wheel sized opposing slide living room with an island all of the windows in the world over on the campsite of the rv so you can enjoy your site double awnings the uh, jack leak stabilizer so that thing feels like it's going to be on a concrete pad for you and it's not a bedroom slide model but they have plenty of space in there you could put a big bed into it or you could keep a small bed and enjoy the, the walk around space and a big closet in that bedroom so it's something where it's still, if you want to do some towing, but you want to spend extended times at some place, or frankly, with enough space, you could just leave it parked somewhere like a seasonal site and never tow this thing. I could see this working for a number of people. And with that Versa Lounge seating arrangement, it is so ultra flexible. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to Wild Willie's Window Emporium, where we have the 7,665-pound Wildwood 27RE here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Why do I call it Wild Willie's Window Emporium? Because it has so many windows. It's wild. And here's what I mean. She's loaded with glass and first class all the way, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> 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 Yeah, I guess I can't keep doing that, can I? <laughs> 
The whole point behind this RV is like, I want the biggest living room I can get, but I want to keep the RV like as light and reasonably priced as possible. That's exactly where this one comes in. If you're looking for that big, huge destination living space, like a giant fifth wheel, but you're like, I want to keep it shorter, lighter, less expensive. That's exactly where the 27 RE comes in. Thing is though, the what they did with the Versa Lounge, the taller ceiling, the extra storage in the bedroom, I don't know that you need a bedroom slide. And I think that really this is like, this is one where you can laugh all the way to the bank, saving all sorts of money compared to something bigger. That being said, if you do like something bigger with a bedroom slide, take a look at the 32 RET Wildwood that we have a video on for you here from Halo RV. The only real difference is just that it has a bedroom slide and a big front wall closet. Either way, we got you covered. And I'd love to have you see both sets of footage and let me know which one works for you guys. Coming in at number three, an Asdell camper, a Freedom Express 279 RLDS. Private, very private, very nice, quiet, private front bedroom with a true queen. That super cool underbed storage arrangement they make. And they actually took one of my suggestions. They, uh, they gave it a bedroom, bathroom kind of closet interchange that I think gives that model some very needed storage up in the bedroom and bathroom that in years past it didn't have, especially uh, considering the way that they've now enhanced their, their underbed storage. It's awesome. But carpetless, taller ceiling, Asdell wide stance axles for nice towing are all great features. But just the open living room, you've got that. I like to put a theater seat in the back right next to the TV, but it still has a U dinette, which is hard to find in a lot of couples models. There are a lot of times freestanding tables, there's smaller two bench dinettes. And that U dinette is, I think, the thing that makes it work for me. Because I can chill in the theater seat that I like to put into that thing. But if I'm gonna have a guest, I've got like a seven foot by nearly four foot deep bed where even an adult guest could hang out with us. And where I think that one's sneaky good, is if you've got like a one teenage kid and they're gonna be out of the house soon, you don't wanna to have to buy two campers, you wanna get your second one the first time, that's where the 279 Freedom Express really comes in play. Coming in at number, what are we on, two now? The Eagle 330 RSTS. This is the definition of what I call a flat deck fifth wheel. Seven foot three ceilings, dual whisper air, full time uh, RVing warranty, availability of auto leveling, great insulation package. Uh, you know, the king bed slide, it's washer and dryer potential, huge living space, all the windows. It's like the 27 RE Wildwood on double, triple steroids. And, and I mean, if, if you're looking for a travel trailer that you just wanna leave parked somewhere, you want something the size of a fifth wheel but don't want those extra steps wearing out your knees, it's hard to beat this one. Morning everybody, Josh RV Nerd here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, at least it's morning at the time of this filming. Coming in just a little over 10,700 pounds, an absolutely stunning, 330 RSTS Jayco Eagle here at Helid RV. And this thing is, it's like if what you're looking for are big, high end, high class fifth wheel features and conveniences, but you don't want a fifth wheel. You don't want the extra stairs to go up and down. Uh, th this, this is a really solid option. 
it's my personal belief. I don't feel that there is a travel trailer that is quote higher end than an Eagle like this right now. They are just they're they're just so extra in in so so many ways. Um, you've got things like you've got the big fifth wheel ceilings. You've got big fifth wheel slides and appliances. You've got those hot cold temperature ratings, the dual air conditioners, automatic leveling for stability. And that's another interesting thing. This thing is, is very large. It's not the tent of trailer a lot of people, not the tent of trailer, not the kind of trailer a lot of people tend to tow with frequency. But if what you're looking for is a primarily destination use model, but you don't want to get a destination trailer, that is yet another area where this thing really reigns supreme. It, it's gorgeous and I can't wait for you to see the whole thing in greater detail. Now a couple honorable mentions. Uh, I'm, I'm breaking my own rules here, but I made the rules. I don't care. I'll break them. Um, <laughs> this is my list. I'm going to name things how I want. These two things, they're technically not 30 feet. They technically shouldn't be on this list, but they're 29 feet 11 inches and they absolutely look, feel, and function like they're in that 30 plus foot range. And they're basically the same floor plan. The first is the Rockwood 2608 BS, and the second is the Freedom Express 259 FKDS. They are both basically 30 feet on the nose with a living room super slide and full bed slide. The Rockwood gives us full travel accessibility and a, uh, a true queen, where the Freedom Express, you don't have full travel accessibility, but we get ourselves an outside kitchen and a 70 by 80 king bed in something that is basically 30 feet. It, it's, it's an honorary kind of member uh, mention on this list. That's why I'm calling it an honorable mention. But with a bed slide and a living room super slide, good storage, good prep space, extended season packages, they really belong on this list, I think. What do you guys think? And now finally, my number one pick for one of the things I think is maybe one of the best couples campers in that 30 plus foot range. I love this thing. It's the 30 RKD Keystone Cougar. It's a one slide living room, big king slide bedroom, big closet, but the amount of storage in this thing, the auto leveling, like the like the Eagle, this and the Eagle, where, where I basically flipped a coin, it does a lot of the same big RV functions that the Eagle does. But Cougar manages to do all of that. And the reason it took the number one slot for me, this Cougar does all of it. It has more kitchen storage, the same kind of direct facing entertainment, but it does it all with two slides instead of three, which saves a huge amount of weight, a huge amount of cost. It makes it far more mobile, although it's still pretty long. You're still probably in three quarter ton range here for sure. But it's not something where you need like a, a professional uh, shipping truck who can handle 40 footers to handle this thing. I think a person with a good three quarter ton could still manipulate this and the way that that translates into a more easily accessible trailer versus something that's really going to stay parked the whole time and including a very cool little outside camp kitchen with no slides on the door side making it super park friendly. It was close, but I like that 30 RKD Cougar. Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and with me today, a camper that definitely doesn't suck. <laughs> this thing is fantastic. The Cougar 30 RKD comes in about just higher, just shy of 7,500 pounds. At that weight, some people are going to say, ooh, half ton towability. Um, I would advise caution in doing that due to the fact that it is a fairly long trailer because it has not only living room super slide, but a full like fifth wheel slide out bedroom with that full front closet, which is actually the reason this one doesn't have a windshield. More on that in a little bit. Uh, it gives us an interesting, like uh, an amazing kitchen inside, really good entertainment, very, very good storage but also giving us some fun outside stuff. It's not all just about the interior. It gives us uh, an exterior camp kitchen. This is hot, cold camp rated. It has thicker sidewalls, 12 volt tank heaters, automatic leveling. You know, you're, it's, it, I think it definitely qualifies for the distinction of flat deck fifth wheel. Yes, yes indeed. And as we go, when you see something you like, or if you have any questions, or if you'd like to see something a little bit different, leave us some comments down here, and we'll do our best to circle back and fill you in. And if you appreciate all the extra information we give you, remember, we're family owned and operated, and we love the opportunity to work with you. Hit that subscribe button to support us here. Let's get started.
And there you have it for me, folks. Like I said, these are just my picks. That's the way I see it. And I tell you, I can understand. Like, give me some feedback. If you think I got something wrong in this list, I can see it because as I was going through this, I really had a heck of a time. When you're in this big stuff, there's some really neat, fun options out there. And I think the one that will probably be your number one is really like, are you going to be towing? Are you going to be parking? Like the way you're going to use it is really drastically going to shift how you look at this list. And again, this is for me, how I picture myself using an RV now or maybe in the future. These were the ones that through, through it all when the smoke clears, they're the ones that I always catch myself going back to when I look at them and go, man, that is just an awesome rig right there. But I'd love your input, folks. Also, if you appreciate it, if you like these little fun top five videos, hit that like button on the video, subscribe to us here at Halid RV, and please give me some suggestions on some other things you'd like to see and, and maybe some lists I could put together for you. And as always, remember, we don't do hidden fees at Halid RV. We just do everything else. And I will, of course, leave full links to the full video tours of these RVs instead of the quick footage that you've seen so far down in the video description where you can see them all in greater detail. And as, so, I, I did, 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 crap. <laughs> I should really do better at this and edit my videos, but I'm not going to. Instead, I'll just simply say, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. I almost screwed that up, didn't I?